Hello everybody. So today I will talk about physics. The topic that is about the normal and tangential. So now I want to show you how to answer. Because we have F and B. So I need to create about two figures. The first one that's it for F and the second one that's it for B. Now let's go for F. We can see that we have vector F that go in this way. And now we need to find the normal and tangential on AC. AC that's it in here. So if we look carefully that should be like this and this so why do we have this one because if we combine two vector in here that is about vector f this is about parallel in here so this one on the light ac that is about tangential so i will put about f t this one we have the right angle on ac that is about the normal next we know that ab that is about number eight BC that is about number six. So we can find the end goal in here because if we make this one longer a little bit, we can see that this location in here that is about a small right angle, right triangle. So we need to find this end goal in here by tan alpha equals to opposite divide by abstraction the opposite that is about number eight abstraction that's about number six and we also know that this angle in here is about the angle for the small triangle in here because they on the on the same on the same ratio next on the next one we remember that when we combine two vectors in here for example I just highlight how to do so for example we have f t f b and this is about f and we know that this one that is about diagonal so that means this one we have same the value of f of diagonal in here so in this situation that means this one in here will have same value of this one in here so we can use f in here that is about 600 to find about ft fn based on this angle in here So, we know that F, that is about 600, and we also know this angle in here, that's about alpha, we can use about alpha equal to octane of 8 over 6, and now we can use this one and F to find about F and f end so f t that is about we know that psi 
that is about opposites divided by hypotenuse and cosine here that is about adjacent divided by hypotenuse now we want to find ft and fn we know that this one that is about 600 we have the angle and now we need to find the opposite and adjacent so ft in here that is about adjacent so because this is about abstraction, we need to use about this one. So that means we put hypotenuse go to the left, and that is about 600 multiplied by cosine. And we have the value of this one. We put this one cone here. Now we do similar for the second one. This one that should be about side because this is about opposite. Now we calculate this one and we have 360 bars and the next one we have 480 bars and that's it, the answer for F now let's go for B so if we look on the B they go down in this way so that means two vector of B they should be like this And this one does it about B and this one does it about B or oh, sorry this one does it about B T this one does it about B and now we can apply the same formula in here so we have this N go in here and we have number six and number eight so we put about tan beta that is about number six divided by eight and now we can use the same technique for the first one this one that is about hypotenuse and we have 1600 pounds in here so that means For this one, I will put like this. Uh, so, this one we have one hundred sixty, one thousand six hundred, and. We know that this end goal in here is similar to this end goal in here. Now, we have the right end goal and we need to find BT and BN. So we have 1600. We multiply by R. Sorry, cosine of octane 6 over 8. And the next one, we have 1600. We multiply by side with octane 6 over 8. So we calculate this one and this one we have 1000 
280 pounds and this one we have 960 pounds this is the end thank you for watching